A reading. From the New Testament. The Gullah Bible. Based on the King James Version, of course. Not of course, but based on the King James Version. We go to Corinthians 2. Cause we the walk coddling the faith. We ain't the weak. We ain't the walk just by the way we see with the eye. Translation. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Well, first of all, uh, Shout out to Narrative for turning me on to this uh, fine uh, Bible that's published by, I guess, published by the American Bible Society. I got it from the School of Gourmet down there in South Carolina. Um, and uh, this is a this is my Sunday sermon, Sunday sermons, and it's really around about, uh, it centers around uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., which we'll get to uh, later. But right now, just let me uh, uh, let you know that when I started my program, No More Radio, if I can see it. No More Radio, but well, you can't see it, it doesn't matter. No More Radio, what did I start? No More Radio, 1989, I don't know, 80 something, 86, I was something like that, back then. Uh, first record I played on the this on WPI in New York. And the number rate came in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. And the first uh, record I played was uh, Marvin Gaye singing the uh, composition made famous by uh, Nat King Cole, Nature Boy. This is the first uh, that I'm reading from this uh, Bible. And I'll be reading from the Bible every day. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Yeah, every day. No, perhaps from this Bible every day. And you say, but why, brother? You not? You, I don't. Be, I, I never know that you'd be a religious person. In fact, I know you. Well, I'm an eclectic pluralist, as Mister Neely Fuller Jr. would would, would say. I used to be a deist, but nobody everybody knows what that is. But I mean, eclectic pluralism is just more up my up my alley because you know I have a I have to, oh gosh my religious. Uh, we won't even get. Well, yeah, we will get into that. Uh, West African religions are uh, hip to that, you know, the, the uh, Hindu, whatever. You know, they're American, Indian, stiff the Mayan stuff, the, 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 whatever. I've been, I've, I've been a lot of spiritual stuff, you know. Um, uh, but I, I, I read that passage. Um, we walk by faith, not by sight, or as we say, cause we don't walk calling the fate. We ain't the walk just by the way we done see with we eye. That's gullet talk. I said, well, brother, man, you having a problem reading that stuff. Yeah, because I'm a, well, let me let me put it, no, well, first, let's, hold on just a second. I'll be get right back to this. Let me explain something to you right, right now so you understand this, right? Right. I can't believe this. Right there, I'm thinking, See that? That's my grandmother. She's uh, on on her father's side is Gullah. Her mother was Mohawk Indian down in South Carolina. And I'll uh, just show you a little something else here. This, let me show you. Why is this thing shaking like this? Come on now. Let's see. There we go. Uh, oh, this is St. Joseph's here, by, by the way. It's a room I stay in when I'm here. It's, it's a very tranquil room. Now you see though, look at that there, huh? Oh, turn this thing around. Look at that there. 
ain't that the <laughs> ain't that the, the the what do you call that the, the last the, the last supper dingy right there see them people right there last supper all of them right there they all black <laughs> they all black so that's what oh just a second I gotta uh, hold on a second I gotta get my water man get my water get my water get some water my water oh you don't see it you see my water I never have to I got I got jar water to see the whoop up turn this thing off the foot man you don't need to see all that anyway this is my uh, this is where I stay when I'm at my sister's this is my room it's very tranquil like that my grandmother's right there you know my brother older brother there too anyway um So here's what I was thinking when I got this, when I found out about this Bible, I listened to um, the class recall. I said, you know, I was thinking, see, I have what we have what we call lineage memory. You know what I mean? Like you have memory, every cell, uh, uh, Sad Guru will tell you, every cell, but every cell that I have <laughs> goes back way into all branches. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the color, you know, the color kind of thing and then we have the African thing. Let's read the Bible from the Bible there, so I put that back where it usually is. Dog tags here. Well, fake dog tags. I got lost a long time ago. Um, but I'm I'm thinking, you know, because you know you have, have African in me, of course, you know, have some European, I guess, because you know, slavery kind of thing. And of course I have American Indian in me. Okay, great. Um, but I was thinking that when folks got out of slavery, you know, that era. Uh, and as we, as you may or may not know, um, uh, most of the time, most people, two hundred years ago, very illiterate. I mean, not just black people, just white, everybody illiterate. You know what I mean? And um, you learn for, a lot of times. You learn from the Bible. Uh, and when they had the school system, I guess because of a number of reasons, then because uh, Shakespeare, the language of Shakespeare, and the, they had a lot of volumes of that, and it was a lot of uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, 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 the traveling theater troops that would do Shakespeare. You know? Um, well, because of that. Uh, what what happens is at least the school system, you, because the language of Shakespeare is similar to the language of the King James version of the Bible. Then what would happen if you didn't want to learn from the Bible, you would learn from Shakespeare, but still no, it was that same kind of language. Anyway, that's not that's not the point I'm trying to make. All I'm trying to say is that I always think, you know, when black people got out of slavery, you know, even during slavery, the only thing they could read, what people were reading the secret was the Bible, you know, the King James version of the Bible, you know, just learn. I know I say just just learn, well, learn, uh, learn how to read. So I'm thinking that you know when they start start reading the Bible, it's like a language they couldn't understand. So they were talking like I'm. I have difficulty trying to read this stuff, and I'm I'm of these peoples, you know. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm gonna spend the next every day. I'm gonna read from the Bible, <laughs> from the color Bible, out loud, uh, just to experience what my ancestors experienced how to read i'm gonna i'm gonna learn basically this is a language remember gullah that's a language at some particular point i want to get down to south carolina uh you know and see what see what's got see what's happening but we'll see what happens with that anyway so that's it so i just want to tell you about that part now, now we can move on because sunday sermons has to do with another scripture book that i i deal with and that would be uh mr neely uh, come on. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And usually I'm like back in my regular position. Yeah, I like my regular position. Hold on a second, you know. I like to read from uh oh, no, I stay here with the head. Don't matter. Okay. And with uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., what I do is I, I treat this as 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 scripture. Also, this is scripture to me. So every Sunday I read, but every day I, not every day, no, every Sunday now, but it usually, usually every day I read that. The way you do this, since it's scripture, I can just, um, uh, just pull up any, go to any page and just start from there. So let me just go to this page here. This is under area six, politics, uh, as you may or may not know, Mr. Neely Fuller, Fuller Jr. Uh, from, this is the book, uh, The United Compensatory. United Independent Compensatory Code System concept right there. It's a uh, it's a compensatory uh, counter racist code. This is the 2016 edition. Um, now I I uh I actually it's a revised expanded edition edition. You know I'm not mm. you know I have the original 84, but that's down in 
Africa. And I'm, when I get back down there, I'll be reading from that. I, I you know, I, I will be reading from that. I'm a, I might set up a whole kind of thing because you know the kids down there. I'm saying the kids, the people down there, they're sort of into it, so they want to see what's going on too. So I can, uh, I can uh, do that down there. Be the, be the preacher. I'm not spreading the word of well, I'm saying anti-racism word, word. That's what it is. Introductory remarks. Come on now. What am I looking for? Oh yeah. So the areas of uh, activity that we're talking about is uh, economics, education, entertainment, uh, labor, law, uh, politics, and he says policy of people relations, um, religion, sex, and the last thing, the last area activity, knife favorite area is war, counter war. And right now, I'm just I just picked any page number one uh, two ten. Uh, area six politics people relations okay I'll just do it this type of thing let's do a reading from uh you know mr Neely fuller jr fine tones here we go think of ways to get people to abandon the so-called white lifestyle competition and domination based on racist motivated deceit and violence that is the white lifestyle let me repeat that the white lifestyle is competition and domination based on racist motivated deceit and violence that's in brackets think of ways to get people to abandon the so-called black lifestyle being in the black black lifestyle is uh, being serious about things that are silly and non-constructive and silly about things that are serious and constructive hey that's worth repeating also <laughs> The black life, the so-called black lifestyle, is being serious about things that are silly and non-constructive. Um, and, 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 and being silly about things that are serious and constructive. That's the black lifestyle. Hey, you, you understand on that. Think about ways to produce universal lifestyle, a universal lifestyle, okay? Based on a use of truth and that which is in a manner that best helps produce justice and correctness in all areas of activity, those nine areas that we spoke of before. Question, what part of ghetto culture, this is in quotes, quote, ghetto culture, end quote, close quote, should be promoted? Oh, oh there's a question. Answer, none. <laughs> it is incorrect to willfully and deliberately say or do anything that helps to promote and support the ghetto culture. Well, no, this, this, I'm just reading out the book. You know what I mean? You have your own opinions. You know, some people, I guess, you like ghetto culture. Well, you know, well, I don't know. I don't know what people do. Example, uh, talking about sexual conquest, insulting remarks, name calling, using profanity, bragging about possession, stealing, robbing, fighting, maiming, or killing for prestige, trivial pa uh, uh, passions, or fun, etc. This is that's what they call the, the ghetto the ghetto lifestyle, you know. The whole thing about is I'm on yeah, let me say something about name calling. You know, there's a lot of people on the internet, you know, because I people I guess they like beefs, they like argumentative stuff, you know what I mean? But uh they they regularly you call people names, you know what I mean? But you but that that's kinda strange, you know. Yeah, calling names ain't gonna do nobody any good, but that's just my opinion. Okay. Some suggestions. Oh, Miss Nelly Fuller Jr. is giving me some suggestions here. Spend as little money as practical for anything that is to be used mostly for purposes of showing off. Clothing, trinkets, vehicles, etc. Try to... Okay, hold on. Let me hold it there for just a second. Hold on. I got to hold on for just one second. Let me... This is reparations thing. I was just thinking about this because you know we all not we all know a lot of people know about Mansa Musa. That's the that, that's the uh, cat from Mali had all the gold and went up there. You know all the, and it wrecked economies while he was going up to 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 Europe. You know showing off. He was showing off. <laughs> the boy was showing off. Come on. In fact, there's another cat that has I guess just as much gold. I mean you know the, but and Mansa Musa is, is acknowledged as the as I say the the richest person ever to walk the planet. Right. But there's another cat from Ghana. That because that's Ghana's gold, gold, gold too. You know what I mean? 
But you don't hear about him because he wasn't, he, I guess he wasn't showing off as much as Mansa Musa. But when, when the folks saw that Mansa Musa, they say, where did that come from? You know? But what they do, hey, before you know it, it was their goal and you wasn't showing off no more. Anyway, let me leave that alone. <laughs> oh, wow. Ruffle any, spirit, uh, any, any feathers, right? Try to buy what is necessary and constructive. Do not speak or act in support of ghetto glorifications. Ghetto, quote, ghetto glorifications, unquote. What? Um, as it is usually practiced by non-white people who try to glorify and celebrate their condition of racial subjugation. Do not talk in a slurred or whitey manner. Ooh, really? Do not walk in the artificial manner. Walk in a manner that gets you where you need to be um, in a manner that is efficient and non-attention getting. In other words, don't, don't draw attention to yourself. In fact, it's kind of interesting because um, if you're truly a warrior, whatever have you, you know, what kind of warrior are you? Man, I'm I, I try to oh here's look here this is a this is a, a tribute to um to uh Chadwick Bozeman and uh some Black Panther. You know, I say this all the time, you know. Black Panther, you know, my character, the character I identify best with in Black the Black Panther the movie, well, I don't know about the comics, but the movie is Nakia. Because Nakia is a spy. And nobody nobody has said anything about Nakia. She the spy. She lives, she's a spy, she get her, her idea, she whispered in Black Panther ear. He started to implement it, you know, that kind of thing. Because remember that, um, uh, 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 um, gosh, I keep on forgetting uh, what's the name's character because I, I don't like it so much. Um, uh, oh, gosh, man, man I'm, I'm messing up really bad. Um, you know, uh, Killmonger. Killmonger's character. Um, Killmonger and Nakia said this, was saying the same thing to Black Panther. But... Killmonger, I guess, yeah, to me, he committed suicide, but that's neither here nor there. I don't think the black people should be committing suicide, you know. But, uh, uh, but uh, Nakia, you know, she lived. Just saying, you know what I mean? And her idea came through. So this, that we're talking about war and counter wars. A lot of times, you know, when you start a war, all, all bets are off. Whatever you had, whatever the stuff you had in your brain, it gone. <laughs> What's the famous quote that everybody says? Uh, uh, attributes to Mike Tyson these days, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, you have a good plan. Everybody has a good plan until you that first box or whatever have a good plan. Until you get punched in the mouth, then <laughs> things change rather rapidly, you know. So all these people are saying, saying what they're doing, whatever they do. I don't know. Anyway, so that's it. That's the reading for today. For this, um, for this uh, Sunday sermon, and like I said, this it started start about th this thing's the fourth one, I think. Um, so I, I will be reading from Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr.'s book every Sunday, recording, I should say like that. And then I start this new thing every day. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I, I should even, maybe I should, so you can see the progress if I'm actually going to be reading this, <laughs> understanding this language more. Well. So maybe we'll try it. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, I do know. We're going to, it's official. I read the first thing, the thing that's been with for a long time, which we walk by faith, not by sight, or should I read it again? Oh, come on now. You know you want to. Let's, let's try it again. Cause we don't walk calling the faith. We ain't uh, the walk just by uh, what we that see with the eye. Just some words, some uh, alliterations, some, oh, don't use a big word, some stuff from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.